Hey YouTube, this is Brett from Houston Park Fan 62. It is Friday, <laughs> November the 10th at around 4.53. In today's video, I'm here to talk about Christmas decorating on a budget. Now, the thing is with this, you can go cheaply or you can go expensive. It depends on how you want to do this. Um, and it depends on your budget for this sort of thing. Now, um, I'm going to go by each type of decoration and what you can do. First, Christmas lights. Now, it depends on the type of lights that you get. Because if you decide to go to string lights, depending on when you get them, they're going to be around three bucks a string. If you get LEDs, they're going to be much more. So keep that in mind. The next thing is um, icicle lights are going to be much more. They're typically around 11 to 16 bucks a box. So keep that in mind if you want to decorate your house with icicles. Now, LED icicles are typically around 15 to 20 bucks a strand, depending on the company uh, that you get. Now, let's get in with the yard stuff. First is inflatables. Now, inflatables can go from $15 all the way up to hundreds of dollars. So, Keep this in mind when it comes to that sort of thing because it depends on where you are. If you are the type of person that lives in a windier area like the Great Northern Lakes or out west in the plains like Kansas, Oklahoma, that sort of area, inflatables may or may not be the best thing for you uh, due to that. So keep that in mind. Blow molds. Okay. Here is the thing about blow molds. The newer blow molds hover around the $40 mark. Um, and that is with traditional ones, such as um, Santa Claus, Snowman, and Elf, stuff like that, up to copyrighted ones, such as, you know, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and so forth. So keep that in mind. Now, if you want the older, traditional type, this is where you're, you're going to get into the controversy. Because the older ones, assuming you can find them, are going to be much more. Um, and it depends on the one that you want. Because... It depends on where you get it as well. If you get it from like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that, um, it that depends on to each homeowner or individual. Now, if you get it from a place like a flea market, now the thing about the flea markets is the prices that they set for those has to help cover the cost of that unit and so forth. So they're going to typically set that stuff much higher. So keep that in mind as well. Now, when it comes to miscellaneous yard decorations. Now, by the term miscellaneous yard decorations, I'm talking about stuff like spiral trees. Those small, colorful yard decorations that can be in the shape of a dog, um, you know, spell, in, spell out Noel, stuff like that that you can find in Lowe's, Home Depot, etc. Those are also going to vary in price as well. Spiral trees are typically around 15, 20 bucks or so. Um, but those miscellaneous other ones I just mentioned are sometimes up in the hundreds. So keep that in mind. Now, speaking of expensive Christmas items, 
now we get into the tall stuff that so I'm talking about like the soldiers that has the eyes like the 12 foot skeleton does that looks like it's moving both ways back and forth I'm talking about the waving Santa at Home Depot stuff like that those are typically around two to three hundred dollars so keep that in mind when you're wanting to buy something like that because that sort of stuff is going to run you quite high so keep that in mind now if you are the type of person wanting to have something that represents christmas itself not the capitalism part such as the santa clauses the snowmen the elves he said i'm talking about a nativity this going back to the other stuff is going to vary depending on what you want if you want an inflatable nativity scene, those will vary depending on price and stuff like that. Um, I've seen some that are around 50 to 100 bucks. But if you want the blow mold type, so I'm talking about the ones that have the Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. And then you get the three wise men. Then you start looking into stuff like the donkey the sheep, all this other jazz that goes along with it. That is what's going to cost you a lot of money because each of those individual items varies in price depending on where you get it, does it come in a big box, etc. So keep that in mind. Plus, um, you probably would want it to have it in like a like a, no, I shouldn't say a barn, but like a small barn-like thing that you normally see a lot of nativity scenes in. Um, maybe it wouldn't hurt if you have hay left over from Halloween to keep one of those for that. You know, stuff like that. Now, the last thing, assuming everything I just said in this video, you have put up. Um, the best thing to do is have timers. Um, the purpose of the timers is to help turn on the stuff, turn off the stuff. That way you don't have to go in and turn something on and then come out later when it's freezing and turn it off. That sort of thing. Because especially the closer, depending on where you are, the closer it gets to Christmas. Um, the colder it's going to get. So keep that in mind uh, with that. Uh, now you have two types of timers you can choose from. The first type is the type that you set it to a certain time. It will come on at that certain time. So if you set it from, let's say, 5 o'clock to 11 o'clock, it, though that stuff will come on from five o'clock and go off at eleven o'clock. Now the you have the other type um, that works just as well, where it comes on at dusk and goes off at whatever. Now the term whatever doesn't mean nine thirty. So if you set it for let's say six hours, it will come on at dusk, stay on for those six hours, and it'll go off at typically around 10 to 11 o'clock. So keep that in mind as well. Now, as a little side note into this, um, if you deal with inflatables, keep an eye on those, especially with wind, because wind, unfortunately, is a major factor in those things. Um, now, the other thing, the other best thing to do as well with those, especially if you get taller ones, is to get one that, how should I word it, do like a triangle, so that way, um, if, if there's wind, it'll move slightly, but not like a whole lot, 
Um, if you predict it, there's going to be strong winds one day, um, the best thing to do is to unplug them. Um, you can either unplug them from the extension cord, um, or uh, if you have, let's say, a timer going on to inflatables, that is the, the dawn to dust type thing, or the six hours, just turn off that timer. Either way, um, they will not turn off. Um, now, when it comes to weather, this is the big thing. Because a lot of that, you never know what's going to happen with the weather. And unfortunately, because of that, you know, that has taken the toll of many, many, many decorations over the years. So that is the best thing. Now, if you get stuff like, you know, bad wind, um, snow, ice, sleet, whatever, that is one thing you have to desperately keep an eye on. Now, um, if you have blow molds, here is something that you can do to keep those from falling over. Now I'm using this as an example, but if you have a blow mold, um, one of the best things you can do is go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and get a pole. It's an aluminum pole. And the best thing you can do is just drill like a couple of holes uh, into the aluminum pole as well as the blow mold and screw in that pole to that so that way you can just kind of stake it into the ground and that way you, that helps you solve basically keep, uh, putting it down in the ground as well as it not wanting to fall over in wind so those are some options for uh, decorating for Christmas on a budget. Um, I know I probably didn't get everything on this, what I said, but that is a majority of it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them down below and I'd be happy.